everybody! So today's art project is going to be a landscape collage. What you're going to need is some magazines or photos that, that are okay to cut up, and some scissors and a glue stick or a glue um, or even tape would work. So um, pause the video, get all of your supplies ready, and then uh, play when you're, when you're ready to go. Okay, so for your landscape collage, you're going to need glue or tape, a pair of scissors, and some different magazines or pictures that you can cut out. You also, you know, I have a book with some illustrations in it that I photocopied, so I scanned them in and I printed them. So this is kind of a cool image of kind of a tree man that I thought I might use. Um, so I've got some magazines, some different things. I have some, some stuff that I already kind of cut up. And the goal with a landscape collage is that you start with your um, your background. So in the background, I wanna have maybe a sky and some something else. So when I look outside my window, my background, there's a lot of sky and there's a lot of trees, but you could be, a, you could have an imagination and have mountains in your background or an ocean. So you're gonna start with trying to find different colors that you want to work with. So I'm going to use blues for my background and I just, I can cut any shapes that I want to use for my background. It does not matter. I can do strips of paper or I could do organic shapes. And the goal is that you just fill up your whole paper with your background. So I'm going to fill up my whole paper with blue first because I want to have kind of a blue gray sky and I'm going to use my blue colors and you might start to see that I have some spots that don't have blue like some strips of white that are coming through or I didn't cut around this image perfectly so I've got a little bit of white and that's okay we're making a lot of different layers so you're just going to keep trying to fill in the spaces with your layers. And I'm gonna keep going with my blue. Cut out some more. Oops, I lost my glue stick. Okay. And you know, skies can have so many different colors. You could do, you know, blue, purple, pink sunset sky. You could do really, you could make it an imaginary sky and have a, have a green sky, it doesn't really matter. This is your landscape project. So you can make it an imaginary landscape if you like. And I'm gonna fill up, for my background, I'm gonna fill up maybe most of my paper. I could leave a little bit at the bottom if I wanted to, if I didn't wanna have to glue everything I'm using. Maybe I'm gonna glue it this way, cover up a little bit like that. And then I've got some more blue here, black and blue, I think I'm gonna use that. And these are all pictures I took from books that I thought were nice and I photocopied them and printed them. But you might be using pictures that are okay to cut up or magazines. You could even use text if you really wanted to. I'm gonna glue this down. Maybe more organic shape here. I like the pink that's there. I think it's kind of pretty. All right, and once I glue most of my paper with my background, which is my sky here, then I'm gonna start with my middle ground. So in the middle ground, I might see mountains or trees. Um, I went through different magazines and I found this might be a mountain in my background. It's kind of big, so I might cut it up, use this nice rough texture to make a mountain if I want. And 
your middle ground is going to go probably right through the middle of your paper. So I'm going to use these as my, I'm going to put mountains in the middle. You could use like that. layer them. Just like that. All right. And so for your foreground, which is the last step, so the first was the background, which was like this color of the sky maybe, or some different things that you might see. I could even add in some birds or something in my sky if I like. And then the middle ground is right in the middle of your page and it could be anything that that's in the distance that you see, like trees or mountains. And then in the foreground, you wanna do some different, maybe some different animals. I might start with making, um, I might start with making a green, green, foreground for grass and I have this chronogram maybe I'm going to use this green color here on the front page like that it's a nice green and you're going to have such different papers at home and if you don't have magazines or something to cut out, you could always create your own colored paper, which I will, you can look at my video called Creating Colored Paper if you want an idea on how to do that. But basically you just take white paper and you put color on it, any color you choose. So there's some grass and you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. I'm creating blocks of different color and then I'm going to maybe put a giant creature. So here's a very cool crab I cut out from an old calendar. I'm going to stick right here. So you can start to see my foreground are things that are closest to me. So if I'm making my landscape, my background is far away. My middle ground is in the middle and my foreground is right in front. So there's a crab. Here's like a giant cat. Uh, it's too big for my paper. I won't use it. This could be in the, the foreground too if I wanted. Sometimes I might find I glued stuff down without, without being able to put other stuff in. It's a good thing about glue sticks. So create your landscape collages and go ahead and send some photos so I can see them. I'd love to see them.